Reuters has identified 300 cases of political violence since the January 6th attack on the Capitol in 2021. Um, this count extends through October. As Reuters compiled its count of political violence since 2021 in consulting with experts, we learned that the, viol the trend of violence that we have seen in recent years is consistent with an uptick in political violence that started around 2016, um, at the time that former President Trump was elected to the White House. This um, uptick in violence at its current level is the highest, um, highest numbers or figures of political violence since the 1970s. The last few months as we've approached the election have been colored by some high profile events of political violence. Notably in July, there was a near assassination of former President Trump at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, where the former president's ear was grazed and a spectator died and the shooter was also killed in, by security. In looking at political violence in the United States and examining the record number of threats against different types of public officials, and also um, the steady use of violent language by some public figures is that political violence or, or the use of violence in language around politics has become normalized. All of this has made experts concerned that in the aftermath of an election, particularly if it's not clear who won, that this could lead to partisans of a particular political side using violence um, because this idea of violence being somehow normalized in our culture um, has infiltrated the political realm.